we will welcome to all of you i am going to start this satsang with a very rare collections of yoga sutras there are many rishis yogis in india from kanyakumari to himalayas there are lots of yogis and sages written many yogic text and many yogic text have been given the explanation by many sages many maharishis i think there is very less people who talked about the yoga sutras of kartike so i am going to explain about the yoga sutras of kartikeyan in this sunday series all of you you like it this is a very rare people talk about his sutras because many people don't know that kartikeyan is a founder of siddha yoga okay i am not here to say these people are we are great it's not like that i am going to explain i am coming from the lineage of siddha siddha yoga just i am going to explain you about what kartikeyan has written in his textbook and how the siddha yoga parampara is giving this knowledge to people okay first before going into all this concept first clarity i want to give all of you that is called the abc of spirituality have you seen in india always spirituality is connected to health science yes or no all of you yes or no you why why spirituality is always a link with health type in the chat box why 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 health is always connected with spirituality yes or no it is there no always spirituality is connected with health mainly in india why first i will explain you health can be possible only for the people who are connected with the divine that is why health is the by product of spiritual growth all of you please write down this health is the by product of spiritual growth all of you please write down this health is the by product of spiritual growth without spiritual growth there can be no health and now coming to the spiritual growth what is spiritual growth many people think i am doing puja sir so i am growing in spiritual what is spiritual growth spiritual growth means balance between outer world and the inner world i will explain you that you see the whole western people and the eastern people they have different approach the whole india and the western eastern countries we spent more years in the inner growth if you see many maharishis they were talking about the inner growth that is why they did a great research about what is there inside annamaya kosha pranamaya kosha manomaya kosha what is happening within a man so they spent their lot of thousands of years in doing research on the inner world and india is the country which did the most highest research on the inner world 
and yogis they were doing all that the western world they spent time on the outer research yes or no we can't neglect that it is also needed so they spent their whole life in finding current western people they found current they found lot of inventions today we are flying from kanyakumari to Ka kashmir just within few hours it is because of the flight invention of flight this western people they spent their whole knowledge energy everything on the outer science got it all of you this is the fundamental understanding everyone should have so india spent time on the inner world and we left the outer world in some years of indian history we also spent time in growing outer world but most of the time we are working on the inner world western people they are working on the outer world by by but they left the inner growth and indians we we forget about the outer growth so there is an imbalance for the western people and there is also imbalance for the eastern people can you understand all of you raise your hands that is why today western people are suffering from inner world disease what kind of sufferings do western people have now can you can you type type in the chat box what are the problems what are the sufferings do western people face today western countries european countries america what are the problems they face type in the chat box stress mind related problems depression disharmony of families depression psychological issues mental problems psychological problems not social relationship depression cancer physiological inner peace breathing psychosomatic problems depression insecurity obesity inner problem autism disturbance in sleep psychological problem mental problem stress related problems heartless <laughs> lack of family bonding heart attacks lack of santosha means satisfaction mental problems aloneness skin problems no connection with family and social life relationship problems no fulfillment software and hardware problems <laughs> what are the problems west our eastern countries face today eastern problem type type all of you what are the problems eastern countries like india and some other countries in east type in the chat box now developmental problems tiram super remote mobile <laughs> no life in long life short death lack of money shiva super there are forg they forget about body mind soul relationship wealth financial problem following the western life yes that's one of the biggest problem now happening yes towards westernization economic problem running after money no spiritual life corporate issues how many of you know western people they don't work for 12 months yes or no how many of you know that western people they don't work for 12 months you know how many months they work type in the chat box how many months they work Eleven months 9 months 10 months okay fantastic yes 240 days super yes 
fantastic fantastic all of you thank you for your answers lack of love and care following western lifestyle well, yeah see you should know what is my mindset i am not against western people i am also not against the eastern people both these western countries and eastern countries have missed the balance life is balance god has created like that day and night outer life and inner life both are essential both are needed you think only inner life is matter so you go into meditation you don't bother about what is happening outside no it is also imbalance and only taking care of the outer life only missions outer life car building computers only taking outer life is important and living the inner life is also imbalance yes or no spirituality means taking care of your inner life materialistic life means taking care of your outer life understood all of you please write down ishwar please write down this in chat box spirituality means taking care of your inner self inner world and materialistic life means taking care of the outer world i want west plus east that is the right formula for the next generation of people yes that is called balanced life what do you mean by taking care of your inner self every man should feel happiness happiness is inner just you can put a differentiation tabular column inner life and outer life and what is called outer life what is called outer life just think a tree all of you think a tree purun you can find a tree tree picture and put it in the screen just find a tree tree has two portions one is the outer and second the below the root is the inner there are two portions and what do you mean by outer life the buildings outside car money yes or no all of you what you type in the for the western countries it is outer life outer people money wealth school education yes or no all of you body body is the outer yes and what is inner body is outer and what is inner your soul is inner yes or no outer life can be seen inner life cannot be seen see there is a very big uh, thing under the soil see the root system see uh, priya i know that even indians were doing many research they found many things i am not against that please try to understand for which point i am trying to come now okay and even western people 
they have invented psychology they were also working on many psychological inner aspects it is happening but most of the time most of the centuries we were focusing on inner world they were focusing on outer world please understand try to understand that i am not putting someone down i am not putting someone up but it is the way of the life which is having for many centuries i am combining i am bringing both together and i want you to understand your life is in imbalance today how many of you can understand that write yes in the chat box how many of you can understand our life is in imbalance today we don't have a balanced life that is the point i am trying to come now got it yes thank you thank you all of you today the whole life for 70 years if a man is living for 80 years 70 to 75 years last 5 years in bed most of our whole life we spend our time only to make money for food for housing to get good job to get salary to fulfill our prestige i am also good rich man see i have a house i have a wife i have children see i am also to show our prestige our dress we spend our all life just to get outer things and we forget that we have inner life happiness satisfaction contentment compassion forgiveness bliss ananda that is all inner how many of you spend at least 10 days in silence go into deeper meditation and just experience your soul at least yearly 10 days how many people are able to spend their time no how many people can sit and laugh with your family or your friends you don't have time today even to talk to your family members you are talking in cell phone this is called i call this as an imbalanced life i call this an imbalanced life and what is spiritual life spiritual life is working for your inner world that is what a spiritual life is i am not against the outer growth i want you to exp- i want you to understand what is spiritual life what is outer life materialistic life the basic clarity you should have that because without that clarity you can't understand why these yogis they were closing their eyes and sitting they were not working like other people why they go into silence why they are working doing some practice which other people are not doing the only reason is they are in the sadhana of the inner world they are not zombies you think they are zombies no they are, they are not the zombies they are not zombies they are working on internal inner world ramana maharishi he was also sitting in tirunamalai and some grand old many people were sitting there begging outside the temples you think both are same no 
the Ramana Maharishi is working in the inner world. He is not just sitting simply. He is working in the inner world. And working in your inner world is what is spiritual life is. There are lots of spiritual path. We will come to that second. And having the balance of inner life and the outer life, having connection with your body and connection with your soul. Soul is inner world. You can't see the soul outside. But you have to work to reach your soul. And then comes a balance in your life. You understand your body. You are taking care of your body. You understand that you have come to realize your soul. And traveling to the soul and start experiencing the soul. That means balanced life you are. I come to questions all of you. Please put your questions in the separate link, Purnan, please give that link. In that link, please put your questions, okay? In the chat, if you type, it will go. I can't see the questions. So now, all of you got a basic understanding about the outer life and inner life, all of you? Got it? And the basic understanding what spiritual sadhana or spiritual journey is all of you basic understanding not detailed understanding basic understanding all of you got how to be balanced well Murugan that is the whole purpose of this program I am going to talk I am going to explain you about everything in this Sunday satsang But initially, the, you have to be correct with the fundamentals. I am correcting the fundamentals. If the fundamentals is wrong, if you don't have the basic understanding, you can't understand the satsang of me after that. Basic understanding should be clear for, of all of you. Then only if I talk some concepts also, you will come to the right place in your thinking process. Otherwise, you will go to the wrong place and you can't understand what I am talking Yes. Now, the second important understanding about the spiritual science is God, there is only one God and that God is formless. And that God is living in all living beings. There is a great sage called Kadar Basha near Madurai. He is called as Meivar Chale Andavar. He used to say one beautiful quotation of God. I like that very much. Englishman will call the Pani as water. As water as a water. Hindi men call it as Pani. Malayali will call it as Vellam. Telugu men will call it as Nilu. Tamil men will call it as Tanir. The names are different, but what all they are calling is only one thing that is water. The same way, you give different names to God, but God is only one. Yes or no, all of you? Yes or no? God is only one. And we give lot of different names to them. And God has no forms. He is formless. And he comes to form in, and he is living in all forms. 
on who are shiva who is krishna all of you i want this answer from you then who is shiva who is krishna who is ayappa who is anjaneya and who is kartikeya come on answer me who are, who they are <clears throat> who they are who they are who they are even we will we will take jesus christ mohammad nabi we will take all these people who they are <clears throat> yes kalpana fantastic word avatars gurus fantastic incarnations yes representatives <laughs> you are also all representatives of god yes fantastic all of you fantastic these beings are the great souls who came to this earth and to teach people that something you can take as a human being from this earth all the human beings were worried because they can't take anything when they go how much money they have they can't take when they go they have to leave all the money they have to leave all the wealth they have to leave all the people they can't take anything when they go from this earth and many people were were asking questions what is the purpose of human life if we can't take anything we are going to leave everything in this world and go alone with this body and this body is also temporary it's going to the mud or fire is going to eat this body and what is the purpose of this life living this question is a basic question lingering in every people head yes or no all of you and we are going to leave everything and we are going to go alone we came alone we go alone and what is the meaning of life the answer given by these great gurus teachers who came here they say they said that there is a inner world to you you have come here to experience that joy that ananda within you krishna was born in gokulam and lived as a king even after he got enlightened and in south india kartikeyan and lot of rishis were living in each and every time there came a master and he guided the people for the inner world and these great masters were called as devatas after they leave and we were we are all worshiping them got it all of you so first thing god has no forms god is called as para brahmam para brahmam means something which is expanding and god has no forms but god lives in all forms and god is omnipotent energy even god is same for crow birds cows even for all animals there is only one god and that god is also for us and all the devatas we worship now they are the living embodiments who lived in this earth and gave message to us got it all of you got it and i am explaining you about 
द साउथ इंडियन ग्रेट सिद्धा हु इज कॉल्ड एस कार्तिकेय मुरुगर ही लिव्ड इन साउथ इंडिया नियरली सिक्स थाउजेंड इयर्स अगो and i am going to explain about the poems he wrote on yoga and meditation i call them as yoga sutras of kartikeya and every sunday you are going to see i am going to explain now i am going to start with yoga sutras of kartikeya i am going to talk on the yoga sutras got it all of you now i am giving a small introduction about kartikeya in many parts of country many great people started giving birth and they become a great masters and in south india this great siddha who is called murugar or kartikeya subramanya there are lots of names for him kumaran many tamil pe people have his name only they know or some people they don't know many people in tamil nadu they have his name his name there are lots of names for him one of the names is kept for all the people who born in tamil nadu because he is the father of the tamil language so he, knowing to know about him he is the son of shiva many people know that he is a son of shiva he founded tamil language he is the father of tamil language he created siddha yoga path he created siddha medical system and he is an alchemist his followers are called siddhas got it so he lived in the southern parts of india india was not like this before 6000 years the indian map is different many many countries they were under the sea now i will talk about all that later now you understand basic concept just i am giving an introduction about certain things so that you will have clarity to go into that concept okay yeah you may have lot of questions i know because india is the country where lots of lots of traditions were there followed when lots of traditions were followed lots of confusions lots of misunderstandings lots of fight fight is tend to happen so note down all your questions in the form i will explain you in detail about all your questions got it yeah now i am just creating a fundamental background so that i will explain you all the sutras you will understand easily without understanding the basic foundations if i go to sutras you will not understand anything because our whole culture is like that without understanding our culture you can't understand any sayings of the great master got it all of you yes and now i put a small uh, video by modi ji on tamil punan can you hear i want to share no? share some agala kono mein bharat ke alag alag kono mein kareeb kareeb सौ भाषाएं पढ़ाई जाती हैं और बहुत से लोगों को यह पता है सॉरी पूरन कैन यू हियर व्हेन आई प्ले यस जी फर्स्ट या या साउंड इज आल्सो राइट यस जी कमिंग साउंड ओके तो भारत के अलग अलग कोनों में करीब करीब सौ भाषाएं पढ़ाई जाती हैं और बहुत से लोगों को यह पता नहीं होता कि दुनिया की 
दुनिया की सबसे पुरानी भाषा तमिल भाषा है और इससे बड़ा गर्व क्या हो सकता है कि दुनिया की सबसे पुरानी तमिल भाषा भारत की भाषा है हम भारतीयों की भाषा है this tamil language is invented by kartikeyan all the sutras all the grammar everything he created so just i am not saying we are great all that that game is always happening people have that attitude i am great i am great it's not the time to say that that all old mindset you should be thrown out all knowledge of india should come out it is from south or from west or from east or from north everything has to be brought to the light and our inner world knowledge should be shared to the whole world make others people happy and we become happy that's the attitude we should have all of you yes or no all of you right yes or no that kind of attitude only is needed today fighting attitude is enough through fighting we will not grow through sharing we grow yes or no all of you how many of you and you feel right sharing we grow fighting we will not grow type yes in the chat box all of you. how many of you have that attitude just to fighting no i am great i am great fighting you will not grow in life sharing knowledge what we have we grow in life that is my attitude yes i studied both sanskrit and tamil now i am studying hindi also because i know knowing multi language is very essential today yes or no very essential multi language is very essential you should know many languages that's very important thing in this world now yes fantastic now just i will conclude the basic understanding today what i am trying to give slowly slowly i will start giving explanations about the sutras of murugar kartikeya just with one sutra today i will give an explanation uh ishwar you can type this sutra in the chat also first i will explain this sutra this sutra this sutra in this sutra kartikeyan explains about all the sutras you will it will be there in this book i am trying to write this book in in english also all the sutras are there in this book okay yeah the first sutra i will first explain it in tamil then in english and our ishwar will also type in the chat box pon velli seigindravan periyon alla in this shloka kartikeyan explains about the importance of self understanding or self realization பொன் வெள்ளி செய்கின்றவன் பெரியோ நல்ல புகழான அஷ்டசித்தி பெற்றோன் பெரியோ நல்ல முன்னின்ற வைத்தியனும் பெரியோ நல்ல மூச்சடக்கி ஆழம் இருப்போன் பெரியோ நல்ல 
சின்னமுள்ள குழியிருப்போன் பெரியோன் அல்ல திறமுடனே கவனமிட்டோன் பெரியோன் அல்ல தன்னிலையை தான் அறிந்தோன் பெரியோன் ஐயா தன்னை அறியான் வகை கெட்ட சண்டி மாடே திஸ் நைன் லைன் ஸ்லோகா கார்த்திகையா எக்ஸ்பிளைன்ஸ் அபவுட் த இம்பார்டன்ஸ் ஆஃப் செல்ஃப் ரியலைசேஷன் திஸ் இஸ் த ஸ்லோகா இன் தமிழ் I will explain this sloka for you. In this sloka, he explains about the importance of knowing about our self. Self-realization. Knowing about our self. Kartikeya says, the people who don't know about their own self, they are equal to animals. because animals does not have self realization they don't know about their self because that much opening of the knowledge is not happening to animals only human beings can understand the truth within them and that we call it as self realization Kartikeya explains a detail about that and he explains the people who make gold alchemist is not a big person the people who have lot of siddhis who can do lot of magics is not a big person the people who can cure many disease they are not a big persons the people who go into the water or the people who go into the mud live for many days they are not a big person and the person who starts knowing about them self realizing he is the man and the people who does not start understanding the self they are animals this is this sloka is and this sloka explain you about the balance of inner life and the outer life as i said earlier the whole spiritual concepts of great masters is only one working on your inner world happiness contentment there are lots of things which is happening within ourselves and how to work upon that all the bhagavad gita shlokas in bhagavad gita the shiva sutras shiva explains all the shlokas and in the yoga sutras of padanjali maharishi and yoga sutras of kartikeya all sutras explains about the inner world got it all of you